Obviously, any time you're playing in the NFL, you're playing against the best of the best. Um, for us, it's it's about playing the guy in front of us and you know doing our job. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that it's um, you know you erase for us. We erased last year. We're, we're trying to you know start from game zero and, and move on from there. So we're trying to evaluate ourselves based on how we do our job and execute. To what extent did you um, use that January 17th loss as fuel through the off, the offseason? Um, I think that's always something that's always in the back of your mind. You know, it's the last time you stepped on the field for real. And uh, just knowing that, you know, you win that game, you're in the division or the conference championship and the next game's the Super Bowl. Just knowing how close you are to that um, and just all the little things matter. Do you think you can hit the ground running kind of out of the gate this year? That's the goal. And for us, like I keep saying, it's just about doing our job. You know, we've... We have the bread and butter, the fundamentals, the, the schemes that we know we're good at, and we need to keep building off of those and do those extremely well. Uh, and so, you know, when we have our shots, take advantage, no negative plays. But yeah, it's it's about doing our job efficiently. Uh, so hopefully, we do hit the ground running. Chiefs are the gold standard in the conference. Is that a good team to? I mean, you're going to open up with somebody. Is it good to go against a team that good? It's kind of a measuring stick. See where you stand. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you said it. The gold standard. I mean, they've been top of the top in the AFC for the past decade or so so I mean it's um, yeah they're highly competitive so it's good for us to play somebody like that um, but you know it's it's all about the the next game so we're, we're playing the Chiefs this week and then um, you know hopefully obviously looking for a win and then move on to the next one after that. What do you some think you learned about that Kansas City defense from that playoff matchup and how much of that do you think will carry over? Yeah I mean they're obviously they've been playing extremely well together for a while. Uh, they're, they're forcing you to make mistakes. They're trying to do that, trying to get the ball out of your hands and, and make you take chances. So it's about, like I said, doing our job, taking care of the football. Um, but the, yeah, they do a, a great job of um, you know, creating mismatches and trying to get guys uh, free on blitzes. Arrowhead is, is one of the you know, more hostile environments in the whole league. Uh, and then them being back at full capacity, can only imagine how loud it's gonna be. So we have to know this game plan in and out to where if guys don't hear complete calls they know exactly where to fill in the pieces and uh, we just have to be great in communication you know getting lined up quick to where if we do have to change something and fix something uh, we can do it efficiently and so for our guys it's just knowing knowing the plan and doing your job and you know handling adversity because it's not like we're going to be shocked by the environment we, we know exactly what we're stepping into so we just need to do our job